Today, I'm going to teach you how to time block in Notion. So, part one, we have this free template, free in the description for you to download. And part two, I'm going to show you how you can build it by yourself if you would prefer that. So this free template is called Dilly Dally and it's linked in the description. Now, basically, time blocking is assigning a time that you're going to do each task. So what we're going to do here is add into our calendar a task for today. So let's say record this video. Okay, so the first question that I'm going to ask is the focus. So what's the focus required for this? Is it a full on focus? Is it just kind of a fine task? It's not that bad. It's more of a shallow task. Shallow meaning a task that doesn't involve too much cognitive work. Or is it a fun task? Is it something that energizes us and we just like doing? So I'm going to say record this video is a focus task, even though I find it fun, but it is quite cognitively demanding. Then after this, I can select the project. Now, another question that I have here in my headquarters template is what life bucket is this a part of? So life buckets is the general overall areas in your life. So this could be your work, this could be your side hustle, this could be your school or university, this could be your fitness, et cetera, et cetera. So we have recalled this video in here. Then another thing I want to do today, hypothetically, is go for a long walk. So I'll put long walk in here. Then for the focus here, you know what? That is a fun task. I enjoy going for long walks. So I'll click away. And hypothetically, we could have some other tasks in here and I'll just create some random ones, A and B. So we scroll down here and here we can see our day to day. See, the cool thing about this template is that this, this database here is actually the same database as this. These are the same database. And what's happening here is that this calendar is being shown to me here but with a filter and saying, hey, I only want to see stuff that's been scheduled for today. So if I move task B here away, you can see it gets removed from this list. So I don't have to manually add anything here. It's automatically doing this in the background. That's the benefit of using databases in Notion. It does all of this in the background. Whereas with columns, you would actually have to move stuff about so, you know, the Monday, Tuesday, you've probably seen this before, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, blah, blah, blah. And then people have their to-do list like this, and then moving it about like this, but it's not actually connected to anything, so we can't plan out our day properly. Whereas here, because we're using databases, it is giving us a lot more freedom. Now, what I can do here is time block. So I won't be time blocking up here. This is just showing me my overall week. So here's everything I need to do in the week. Down here, this is where I'll be time blocking. So what we can do here is drag with these six dots when we are doing tasks. So record this video, that is the first thing I'm doing. So I'm going to say 7.30 a.m. Then here I have task A and B and then a long walk. So you know what, we'll break this up and do a long walk after that. And to record this video might take some time. So I'm going to say this long walk is at 10 a.m. Then after this long walk, I might get started at 1 p.m. hypothetically. And then after that, we have task B. Now one rule that I have for myself is I can only have two focus tasks in a day and here you can see I have three. This is because we can only really concentrate fully for about four hours per day and realistically each of these focus tasks is probably going to take me about two hours. If it is a task that involves deep work most likely it will take about two hours at a minimum to really make some progress on it. So what I'm going to do here instead of time blocking this task B here I'm actually going to move it to the next day. And what I can do here is see when in my calendar, so right now it's a pretty open calendar, but I can see when is the best time that I should do this. Always ensuring that I only have two focus tasks per day. It's unrealistic for me to do more than that every single day. Yes, you might have one day, we do have three, but for the average day, I recommend only having two. That is my personal preference, and I found it has helped a lot with my planning. And then as I'm going through the day, I can simply check these off, and you can see they get ticked in here as well. Then and what you can do is relate these obviously to projects which will show up down here. This template here, Dilly Dally, is 100% free, linked in the description, perfect for time blocking. Now another thing that you could do is time track. So I time track absolutely everything in my life, every single project that I'm working on, every single different area in my life, and it has absolutely changed my life. I do this in headquarters. It's my all-in-one Notion template. I do my time blocking in there, but also my time tracking. So as I time block, it actually auto calculates how much time I've spent on projects and on life buckets. This has changed my life and it has caused me to cut out a bunch of stuff from my life that was wasting my time and really helped me to focus on what matters in life. Link in the description if you wanna check it out. Now, for those of you who want to learn Notion and get better at Notion, let's build this from scratch. So we're going to do forward slash data and do table view. And here we are going to click on new table. 
So I'm going to call this uh, task list. Here we have our task list. And then we are going to do down here slash data and click on table view. This time we are not going to do a new table. We're actually going to be selecting this table here. So we are just going to search for it if it's not coming up in your recent. And here we can see task list. So I'll click on that. And what I'm going to do here is change this into a calendar. So I'll click on the three dots, click on layout. And here I can click on calendar. And then here I have a very simple calendar where I can see my entire month. If I only want to see the week like I had in the dilly dally template, we click on the three dots, we click on layout. And here you can see show calendar as month and we'll simply change that to show calendar as a week. And here we can see that. So this list here, we're going to do two views. So I'm going to right click on table here and do full list. This is going to be every single task that hasn't been scheduled. So I'm going to delete this tags property here, just delete that. And you can see that this date column got added. That's because we're seeing this calendar here and it's the same database. So for a calendar to work, you need a date involved with tasks Hence, this got automatically created. So this name here, I'm going to change to task. And we're going to have a very simple rule here for this full task list. I'm going to click on the three dots, click on layout. And first, I'm just going to hide this task list, hide that there. And the rule here is going to be that in this full list, I only want to see stuff that doesn't have a date associated with it. So let's say here, edit video, but then I add this to today. So in here, you can see edit video. It's showing up in my task list. I don't want to see that here and here. I want to see here on the full list, all the tasks that haven't been scheduled. And if you want, you can rename full list actually to not scheduled yet, if that makes more sense. So we're going to click on this filter button and we're going to add a very simple filter. And the filter is saying for the date where the start date is empty. So now it's only showing me stuff that is empty here. But as you can see, it doesn't get hidden from here because this filter here is only impacting this tab. It is not impacting this. And if we were to create another tab here, it wouldn't impact that either. Filters only impact tabs in Notion. So if I add here buy groceries, you can see it sits in the list. But if I were to add a date to it like this, you can see it gets removed from here and shows up here. I'm just going to click on this and do clear. And then you can see it appears back here. Now, the last one is the time blocking. So we are going to right click on this and do duplicate. And this is going to be today. So for today, we want the opposite of this. So on this tab, we're saying nothing that has a date. And on this one, I want to see only stuff that has today's date. So I'll click on the filter. And what's happened is because we duplicated this, it duplicated the filter. So here for the today, we're going to change this from date is empty to date is relative to today. And then we're going to change it from this week to this day. So now it's only showing stuff that is today. And as you can see here, we can see edit video and edit video. Now the last thing here for this to work as a time blocking thing is to click on the plus and add a place where we can write the time. Now there's a bunch of different ways we could do this. We could do this as text. We could do this as a number. We could do this as a select. We could do this as a status. We could do this as a date property showing the hour. There's a bunch of different ways we could do this. I'm going to do text. I think that is the easiest way to do this. So I'll write here time. And for me, I don't know why it makes most sense to me to have it here. So now I can write 9 a.m. and I can see edit video at 9 a.m. And if I were to move this task like this, you could see it automatically got removed from this list. If I move it back, it automatically gets added. These are working together. Everything is connected. Speaking of everything being connected, check out headquarters. It is even more connected and comprehensive than this. It is my all in one notion template for your tasks, your projects, your life buckets, your time tracking, your journaling, your move the needle analysis, your bottleneck analysis, absolutely everything you could want in the one place. As of recording this, it has over 900 users with a five star rating. Click on this video here to check it out. And thank you so much for watching.